is that we all get it Don't give in to the pain, just keep living cause What's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to break down, uh, I'm going to talk about the best advice that I would have given myself uh, when I was 18 years old. This is the best advice I would uh, give myself if I'm 18 years old. Um, and also, if this is your first time, um, let me know in the comments if this is your first time. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, hit that bell notification. That way you get notified whenever I post new videos. So let's get right to it, guys. So this is something I've been thinking about for a while, and I'm curious to see what, what you guys uh, what advice you guys would give yourself uh, to your to your 18 year old self, right? I'm 34 years old, and um, and I really started to think about, uh, you know, I had a moment a few days ago where I started to really think about, you know, if I can go back in time, what advice would I give myself, right? When I'm 18, if I was 18 years old, what advice would I give my 18 year old self? And it came down to five things. Uh, so those five things for me, and I'm very curious to see what you guys would, would, would give to each other, to yourself, uh, your 18 year old self. Let me know in the comments as well. Um, so number one, I, I wish I would have told myself to have uh, a sense of urgency. Um, it's, pretty, it's pretty funny to me as I look back in hindsight. For some reason, when I was younger, I would always tell myself that, you know, I'm young, I have time, you know, I, I'll, I'll accomplish that goal later in life. And what I found was, well, as, as life uh, continued to, to, to happen, um, you know, I'll turn 25 or 23. And then, you know, I said, oh, I still got time. I'm still young. Right. And then another three years have gone by. And then I kept, I kept telling myself, you know, I have all this time. And then next thing you know, I'm not where I wanted to be. And all this time had, had gone by. Right? Cause I didn't have a sense of urgency, right? So, so what I would tell myself, my 18 year old self is, uh, if I ha if I could go back in time and talk to myself, I would say, you need to have a sense of urgency. You need to have, you need to stop, you need to stop thinking you have all this time, right? Because things, success takes time anyway, right? Success is going to require some, a uh, couple years, you know, or it's going to require some sort of time. You don't want to be wasting time thinking you have time to accomplish it two, three, five, six years down the road because in your head, uh, you're telling yourself you're young, you still have time, you want to have fun. I think that's what I would tell myself. Um, you know, have a little bit of sense of urgency, you know, uh, going forward in life uh, if I was 18 years old. And then the second piece of advice, um, hands down, no question about it, read a lot sooner. Read, uh, well, not read sooner, I'm read specifically self-development books. Uh, I started reading self-development books when I was around 25, 26 years old. And um, it, it just gives you all these mind shifts. It just gives you all these different perspectives. And uh, one of the best quotes I love that Tony Robbins says is, success leaves clues, right? These guys have already done it. They, you know, they, they've already experienced, they've already uh, attained the success that you're trying to reach. And, and most of them give you the secrets in these books, right? They train your mind. They, they give you different perspective. They give you new ideas and things like that. So that's definitely one of the, one of the things I would have told myself, um, you know, when I was 18, get into self-development uh, as, as quick as you can, because you want to train your mind when you're young. Um, so you can have a different mindset. Uh, so you can accomplish a lot of thing, a lot, a lot of greater things. Uh, so that's two. Number three, what I would say is uh, I would have gotten to real estate a lot sooner. Okay. So number one, I would have told my, I would have told myself to have a sense of urgency. Right. Don't don't always think. Don't tell yourself you have time because you're young. Right. Um, I would also get into self development books. And number three, I would have gotten to real estate a lot sooner. Um, I would have really dived deep into what ways I can get into real estate. Um, you know, especially at that time, uh, I would have been ahead of the game, you know, because wholesaling has, a, has existed for, for a very long time, right? And it's just now it's starting to really, uh, it's more open out in the public. So people, more people know about it. So had I known that back in the day, I would have, you know, I truly believe if I would have known that 16 years ago, I would have been, uh, you know, nine figures or something like that. Uh, so that's three. Get into real estate a lot sooner. Number four, uh, I would have definitely... Uh, just focus on one thing. Um, you know, 
you're gonna hear the phrase a lot if you're an entrepreneur is shiny objects right all these business opportunities that are out there in the world and there's so many out there um, and you you know for me speaking from personal experience I have a problem where I have shiny object syndrome I'm always chasing these this next opportunity instead of just focusing on one uh, so that's definitely something I would tell myself I would tell myself to just focus on one thing right and at that time that would have been real estate focus on one thing master it uh, create a process for it systemize it delegate it and then you can focus on investing into other businesses other ventures um, after you've mastered one right you don't want to be a jack of all trades a master of none right um, read that book the one thing it's a really really great book by Gary Keller uh, he just fo he just essentially talks about focusing on that one thing right and not having all these different avenues that doesn't mean you can't have different sources of income it just means you can't keep chasing different opportunities you want to focus on one uh, you want to go you don't want to go wide you don't want to go a mile wide you want to go a mile deep right so you want to focus on one thing uh, and then you can uh, jump into other business opportunities so that's number four number five I would tell myself to absolutely hands down no question about it is to seek out seek out mentors right I think mentors I mean they're, they're invaluable right because these people most uh, depending on what what mentor you're seeking out these people are where you want to be right so you want to surround yourself with people uh, who are at the level that you're trying to get at you don't want to be uh, you don't want to you want to seek out someone who tends who is you want to seek out a mentor who is 10 steps ahead of you you know that you know because they're at a different level right mentally financially you know all of the above and you want to be around those people and they're going to tell you exactly okay this is what these are my steps that I took to get to where I'm at all you got to do is follow them take action and just and just do what I say so I would definitely tell myself to invest in mentors seek out mentors uh, whether it's life business uh, relationship you know mentors are people who who can essentially uh, cut the learning curve in half uh, and get you to where you want to get a lot sooner a lot quicker because they already made the mistakes you you know one of the quotes that I, I love is you don't you want to learn from mistakes but uh, you want to learn from other people's mistakes right you don't want to learn from your own so these people have already made the mistakes they're where you want to be and they're gonna tell you the things you need to do to get to where they're at and and you can avoid all those mistakes and, and just cut the learning curve in half you don't have to make the mistakes on your own you don't have to waste any more time you know because they're gonna they're gonna cut that they're gonna cut that learning curve in, in half or whatever the case is uh, and you're gonna get there a lot faster if you have these people who already are where you want where already at the destination you're trying to get at uh, so that's it guys let me know in the comments what what kind of you know it doesn't have to be five uh, it doesn't have to be five advice you know it, it doesn't have to be the top five advice just any advice you would have given your 18 year old self uh, I'm very curious to see what you guys uh, would tell yourself uh, so let me know in the comments also don't forget to subscribe um, and that's it guys that's my time my name is Toby Rosario peace